Hi everyone, it's Heidi from Flutterby Heidi and I, I'm Heidi Smith, I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator based in the United Kingdom and today I'm just continuing with my uh, playing with the Art Gallery stamp set which is this beautiful floral stamp set complete with super sentiments um, and this is one where I've used a range of um, techniques so I've used some dry embossing, the lovely um, embossing folder that cut the art art texture I think it's called uh, da, da, da. here we go uh, painted texture um, stamp set uh, da, 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 embossing folder so it's a 3d embossing folder so it is a thick one so you need to make sure you get your sandwich right don't force it I've also used a bit of the acetate that comes with this um, in this suite and it's gold on the one side silver on the other so I'm actually going to flip it over and use the silver side in my second sample um, and then the paper I've used, again, has got fabulous floral images on the one side and then more sort of um, graphic ones on the reverse. So I love this one. Um, the sort of you know, painted texture. Um, but these are lovely um, papers. Uh, they're actually, they are literally photographs, um, photographed and printed um, copies of um of paintings um, that were done by one of the one of the design team um, so yeah lovely lovely uh, paper super colors and they're quite bright and, and bold this one I went kind of soft with the pinks um, so I'm actually going to do something a little bit different I'm going to kind of go for a pretty peacock and blues because um, what I should have said is if you look at the papers you've kind of got um, half the pack uh, 12 by 12 sheets six sh 12 sheets six um, of six designs, two sheets of each, and you've got sort of, you see, pink ones this side and kind of blue blue tones this side. So I thought having done a pink one, I'll do a blue tony toned one um, instead. Um, now with these, um, they do come with dies, which, you know, are f fabulous, but if you haven't got a die cutting machine, you could potentially cut these out by hand. Um, what you wouldn't get, obviously, are some of the extra little bits that you can now get, which are these lovely little... Um, strips for your sentiment um which are fantastic little accents um they just want to say which goes so well with this um and it would be much more difficult to cut out the bouquet but it is possible um it just depends where we are at so to start off we're going to create a card base um and i'm going to make mine um out of thick basic white um and basic and I literally take a sheet of A4, cut it in half at ten and a half centimetres, which you see I've done there already, and then I just trim it down slightly to uh, 29 centimetres. And the reason I do that is simply because it makes the layers much easier. Um, so uh, just score that at 14 and a half, and there we have our thick basic white card base. And mine is probably still with the white. Um, and then give that a good reinforce with your bone folder on top. Okay. Now a couple of bits I've done already. So um, I've cut some pretty peacock, which is 14 by 10 centimetres. And what I've done is gutted that at two centimetres all the way around. Um, that's because it's going to be covered up by another piece of cardstock. So um, there is absolutely no point in covering up perfectly good cardstock. I could then use that later on for punching or adding... Um, using it for die cutting or all sorts of things um, and just a really good way to get the most out of your card stock. So I'm going to open up my card base and just add that layer onto the front there. Now I've got a slight raise where I've cut that. I'm just going to smooth that out slightly. There we go. Um, then I'm going to add to that some pool party. So um, just pop my pool party inside my thick embossing fold, run that through, and that's um, nine and a half by thirteen and a half centimeters. And that's just going to go onto that layer there. And you can see the texture that we've got with this um, folder is absolutely beautiful. It kind of reminds, I have to say, it reminds me of Artex. Uh, those of you who are kind of um, brought up in the 70s everybody had Artex on the ceiling on the walls my parents still have it on the on well, my parents house still has it on the walls so then I'm going to add another this time just to stay with the same colour theme and I'm um, cut another piece of um, pretty peacock which is five and a half by eleven and a half and just a little piece of my DSP at five by eleven centimetres um, and that's just to 
give a lovely accent of colour but you know it just goes to show you haven't got to cover the whole of your card front with your DSP if you don't want to um, because it you know we, we can all create stuff um, using you know fairly minimal supplies or our leftovers if we like um, now I am, was going to put a piece of acetate on that but of course it has now dis uh, disappearing at knocked it onto the floor so as I said the, the acetate is gold on one side but obviously the reverse then is silver um, one of the problems with acetate obviously is sometimes attaching it so an easy way to attach it is just simply to cover it up I put that that's about as straight as the dog's hind leg so I'm just going to pop that I don't know if it's my DSP I haven't cut straight or my, uh, my cardstock there. Oh well. Actually, I'm going to put that slightly lower down. There we go. And then I'll pop that up on some dimensionals. Um, she says. Yep. So just pop some dimensionals on that, you know. Kind of, um, I do my usual one, usually one in each corner and, and one in the middle. In this instance, I'm going to just sort of pop a couple um, of pieces just behind that acetate, like so. And then we're going to come onto the fun bit, which is the stamping element, to create our focal image. Um, and the lovely thing with um, with this is that you can really play around with loads of different colour combinations. So you'll see there, obviously I've got my stuff um, blushing, it looks like petal pink and flirty flamingo, but I've kind of created, you know, these fat, you know, great, all sorts of colour combinations, had a really good play around with these. So I've got everything from greens and blues and pinks, literally all the colours of the rainbow. Um, but one colour combination I hadn't done was pool party and uh, pretty peacock. So I thought, why not? We could have, I don't, don't very often get blue flowers in nature, very rare, bit of ceanothus, I think that's probably about it. Um, some blue Himalayan poppies occasionally, I think. Um, and so, what I thought we'd do is have a little play. So, if I grab my... Um, what do we want? I want some... Pretty peacock. and some pool party and what I need to do is stamp my pool party and I'm going to add in my I'm going to do my leaves in pretty peacock as well I think Just need to grab my accent block. So this is because it's photopolymer. You just need to um, line that up over the top. Now it's not designed to be a perfect match. I usually line up this corner and this one. I've gone a little bit off um, off edge with that one, and then. Grab your dies and I've put a bit of post-it note and tape on those so you can just wait till that sort of hugs the image likewise and then pop those back and there we go with a couple of uh, images so if I pop Pop that ink away for the moment. I'll probably use that for the sentiment in a minute. So now all I'm going to do is just add those, create a bit of dimension on those with my bone folder. Yeah. Pop 
couple of those in the centre there, not too far close to the edge, because that will then allow those side pieces to kind of curl around. And um, yes, let's do use some just slightly narrower pieces off of these offcuts on those leaves. Again, so towards the centre rather than on the outside edge of the leaves, just to create that sense of movement a little bit more. I've just come a little bit over the edge there. My dog's fur is getting everywhere, that's what you can see there. Labradors, yeah. <laughs> Labrador, honestly, he's shedding horrendously at the moment. And then pop that leaf in. And then one of the things I always say to people at my class um, and on my videos um, is when you, um, whenever you're uh, doing some die cutting, I always um, add some extras. So I usually have a little pouch inside any of my um, die cuts where I just create some extras. So I've got one of those long strips already. And I'm just going to grab the I'm thinking of you um, sentiment. And don't worry about staining on stamps as well, particularly the photopolymer, they will stain. Um, it, it, isn't, it, it is normal, it doesn't affect their performance whatsoever, um, but obviously you kind of, you know, don't worry about it. Um, it and, and you can clean them, um, but they will, they, obviously any of the pink tones you'll find, as soon as you've used it on pink, that's it. But just make sure you clean them really well afterwards if you can then use one of other colours. So I'm just going to pop that I'm thinking of you on there. And then that can just pop. Just pop that up the top there. So I'm going to put it flat and then have a piece of dimensional on the end. Um, so popping the dimensional on the end with you and just pop a bit of tape that's on the floor. I'll grab my seal instead then. on there and there we go so we have a pair of cards so you can see that the same uh, stamp set and the same um, paper can look quite different just by choosing a different slightly different uh, color palette and adding in the silver rather than the gold acetate so I hope you enjoyed that um, if you want to buy the art gallery bundle don't forget at the moment it's celebration so if uh, you spend 45 pounds then you get to choose something for free um, and uh, there's a great range of items to choose from but if you're at all uncertain please don't hesitate to give me a drop me a, a message um, and all the items are available to purchase by just visiting my Stampin' Up! shop so thanks for watching bye now come back and see me again soon